it's morning now baby had actually a good sleep in a half an hour we get up and have a little breakfast and then we're gonna go to the airfield where he's gonna make his first flight Tongo was rescued by the rangers of uh, Virunga National Park they heard that there was a, a trafficker with a baby chimp he's still very healthy so he wasn't long in the hands of the traffickers we don't have an orphanage for chimpanzees. We fly them to Rio primates. I never take them immediately in the plane because I always avoid to put them in a cage. I uh, try to take them on my lap because flying in a plane for a baby chimp is very stressful. So they need to have human contact. So next time is now we're gonna get him some fruits and then prepare him for his uh, flight tomorrow. It's just like an, a normal human baby. Uh, they wanna get hold, they wanna feel you and then they are calm. It takes a few hours to adapt and then think, oh, okay, this human is maybe not that bad. I, he gives me bananas, he gives me milk, he comforts me. Good banana. Good banana. Gonna spoil him tonight with fruits and good drinks. And tomorrow we're going for a flight. My dream was always combining flying and wildlife. About seven years ago, I flew with three doctors through Africa and we donated an airplane to Virunga National Park. Emmanuel, the director, asked me actually to stay and to build an air wing, to do medivacs, to support the rangers. It's 2016 that I flew the first chimp. They brought uh, Pinga, the chimp, and they actually had made a wooden crate. I estimate that it was almost 20 kilograms. And say, if we're gonna take that extra weight, the takeoff will be even more difficult. So that's how I say, on the co-pilot seat, would you mind to take the chimp on your lap? It looked like a very calm guy. The flight went perfectly. The chimp was very calm. That's how I realized, when, okay, they are only babies. You don't want to put them in a cage. You put them on your lap, and they're gonna experience this flight less stressful. And that's how I developed uh, the system. <laughs> You realize every time that flying a chip is something very unique. It doesn't often happen. Make sure you have food, also a bottle with some milk or some juice. It always happens the same. They are a little bit curious when the engine starts. The first 10 minutes they are looking around and then they just fall asleep. I come for a bit, a bit like their parents or the family members who do, like fleeing them. Some only wake up when I do the landing, when they're like, oh, there's a change of engine sound. The biggest relief is always the touchdown, because then you know, from, okay, the most difficult part has been done, and now baby is getting in good hands. So it's time for our breakfast, and then we're going to the airfield and see how the baby feels um, in an airplane. So uh, now we are ready for a flight to to little primates and my passenger is uh, sleeping. He's strapped on my lap so he cannot wander around. I take a baby bottle. He fell even asleep on my lap in the airplane. But they are very curious. I mean, they watch you, they look at you, what you are doing. And if he sees I'm, I'm holding that stick to fly the airplane, he won't do the same. So we are uh, arrived at uh, Luiro primates now all went well a very chill flight and now we're gonna give him to itsaso the directress of uh, luero primates my little boy ready for it she knows the body language so you see each time when i come there they like I'm happy to jump in her arms he was very happy and after two days he already met his other two mates so he was happy to be there they are in a new family and the future is looking much better for them because they have very big chance to get released back in the wilds. Chimps are wild animals, they are not pets, they belong in the wilds. We keep on expanding. We started a flying school in Prunga National Park and we trained six pilots. It's always nice if a rescue works. I'm only the guy who flies the chimps and transports the chimps. I mean, the rangers, they're doing a tough job. And then the people in Luero. They have around 100 rescue chimpanzees now. They are very, very good at what they are doing. 